This is the remnants of the Matilda Villa. Five, four, three, two. The trail is closed, but first huh, we're going to trail or hike. Ohana family is exploring this great falls park in Virginia. How many are for liquid? Oh Tons. my god. We've seen a lot of overlooked. What is this kuya? Pause to read. <laughs> All right. Maya, I want to go. We, what you call this? That's the end of the trail. So we have to go back. That way is Matilda Bill. That's what it says. Oh my. This goes hard. Hard, hard. Oh my goodness. I think this is the village. The forgotten village. I know it's not. Pause to read. Oh! This is. Remember when it's flooded? Yeah. Yeah. That's um, the thing. Oh, it's a holding. canal! Oh, so that's a oh, canal. Oh, it is a canal. Oh, it's a bog. This is a that's canal. Yeah. yeah. So that's the tall part. So what is that up there? Why is it this one? Yeah, these are like a house foundation. Nice. Okay, Chibi, come on. Let's check it out. Yeah. Matilda Ville, Virginia. Matilda Ville is a ghost town located along the Potomac Canal near present-day Great Falls, Virginia, United States. It was named for the wife of Light Horse Harry Lee on 40 acres of land owned at the time by Brian Fairfax, 8th Lord Fairfax of Cameron, and served as a headquarters for the Potomac Company from 1785 until 1799. Now, all that remains of the town are a series of ruins on the grounds of Great Falls Park. Yeah, the flood. Yeah, the flood. Wait, wouldn't this kind of be Matilda Ville, a town that couldn't catch a break. That's no doubt what Henry Lee III was thinking when he signed a 900 year lease on land near the Potomac Rivers. Great Falls. Oh my. This goes hard. Hard, hard. Oh my goodness. I think this is the village. The forgotten village. I know it's not. Pause to read. Oh. 
You just remember when, it, when it's flooded? Yeah. Yeah. Th that's um, the thing. Oh, it's a holding. canal. Also, oh, that's. A oh, canal. it is a canal. Oh, it's a canal. Oh, wow. oh it's this a bug. Right here, Peter, this is a canal. Yeah. 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 So this is how in the 1790s, old light horse Harry had high hopes for the up-and-coming Matildaville, which had been named in honor of his late cousin turned first wife. He bought 30 lots in town. It was going to be a smash. Alas, light horse Harry's outlook was a little too rosy. Matildaville was a ghost town a hundred years ago. You'll find this remnant of a vanished town well protected by the National Park Service, free of gravity, off limits to the relentless hordes of relic hunters who had cut off pieces of this doomed venture to adorn their mantles. Yet, to be seen is if the ruins at Matildaville can survive Lighthurst Harry's 900 year vision. Matildaville was once a booming community that centered around the Potomac Company from 1785 until 1799. Today, all that remains are the foundations of this long-forgotten ghost town. Those that are curious to catch a glimpse of Matildaville can reach it via a wooded hiking trail through Great Falls Park, aptly named the Matildaville Trail. Here's more on how you can venture on this little-known ghost town in Virginia. The natural and historic resources by staying on established trails. Wow. Oh, there's more to it in here. So, what is this then? I, I think this is another holding basin. The Virginia Assembly issued a charter for Matildaville in 1790. George Washington became its first president. The development of a canal system on the Potomac was one of his lifelong goals. The town began modestly as a staging area for the canal's construction. However, it quickly expanded into a full town complete with a market, greased mill, saw mill, farm dry, inn, ice house, barracks, boarding houses, and homes. Unfortunately, construction costs greatly exceeded what was initially planned, and the charter was revoked. Today, all that remains of Matildaville are its ruins. Another basin. Those interested in touring the original site can take the scenic Matildaville Trail, a 1.7 mile out and back track. You can look forward to walking through the woods and glimpsing views of the dramatic Potomac River Falls and rapids along the way. While there isn't much left of the town of Matildaville, the ruins that exist will surely ignite your imagination and wonder for this long forgotten community. An entire town grew up around the construction site to serve as headquarters for the Patoma Company and home for the workers. The town was named Matildaville by its founder, the Revolutionary War hero, Light Horse, Harry Lee. Harry Lee, the father of Robert E. Lee, named the town 
for his first wife, Matilda Lee. Bothers stopped here in Matildaville to wait their turn through the locks, the chain's cargo, or to enjoy an evening in town before continuing their journey. The greatest obstacle to the Potomac project proved to be financial. High construction costs, particularly at the Great Falls section, and insufficient revenues bankrupted the company. Extremes of high and low water restricted use of the canal to only a month or two each year. The tolls collected could not even pay interest on the company debt. The Potomac Company succumbed in 1828, turning over its assets and liabilities to the newly formed Chesapeake and Ohio Canal Company. Oh my goodness. The new company abandoned the Potomac Canal in 1830 for an even more ambitious undertaking, a man-made waterway stretching from Georgetown to Cumberland on the Maryland side of the river. Built to support the canal industry, Matildaville's fate was tied to that of the Potomac Company. Today, only a few fragile remains of Matildaville are visible. Although the Potomac Company was a financial failure, its builders pioneered luck engineering and stimulated a wave of canal construction. Important to the country's development. George Washington did not leave to see the completion of the navigation project that had been his obsession since youth. But he did take pride in visiting the canal during the construction to inspect its progress. He died in 1799, two years before the canal opened at Great Falls. In the long run, Washington's vision of a strong nation linked by trade came true. His frequent toast, success to the navigation of the Potomac, became a footnote of American history. If you like this video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hit the notification bell so you will not miss of our future videos. Thank you for watching and follow me for more.